What's good YouTube? It's Nap Today aka Sade back with you guys again for another video. I'm back with you guys today to go ahead and talk about how to survive school during COVID-19. So I understand that there is a lot of college students right now struggling because you were primarily somebody that used to take classes on campus and the online life was not for you. But now we are kind of all forced to have our classes online Thank you, COVID. And I understand that it is a big adjustment for a lot of us, or a lot of you, because online life has been my life for a while now. <laughs> but um, I'm here to just kind of give you guys some tips on how to make sure you guys end the semester strong and how to get through it. Uh, online schooling is not easy, especially if you were one of those people who primarily took classes on campus. It's a completely different ball game. It requires a lot of self-discipline. It requires you to take accountability for yourself. You don't have a teacher reminding you every single day, okay, you have an assignment due on Thursday or Friday, constantly asking, okay, do you guys have any questions? Because most of your communication doing online school is via email and most often uh, your teachers are always gonna have a lot of emails especially when it comes to online schooling they may not get back to you in a timely manner it might be a couple days could be a week but I get most of our teachers are probably working their butts off to try to make sure that they are doing what they can to make sure that they, that they are providing us with the help that we need so be patient with them okay don't be stressing them out it is a stressful time for all of us. So online school is like self-teaching yourself. Um, a lot of professors will do like video recorded lectures, but it's not like being in an actual classroom setting where you can sit up there and raise your hand and ask questions or get feedback right then and there. So it's completely different. You have to read the textbooks. You have to go through PowerPoints. You really have to focus on the material provided for you to really make sure that you pass the class. <laughs> There's a lot on your shoulders. Trust me, I get it. I know it is a lot. I have some tips for how to survive online schooling, especially during this stressful time. The biggest tip that I have for you guys is to prioritize your time. I know that there's plenty of us that are out there like just lollygagging, trying to spend time whatever ways that we can, playing video games, binging TV shows, scrolling through social media, I get it. And a lot of us are neglecting our school duties. <laughs> I'm one of them. But don't let COVID be a reason that you fail your classes, you know. Um, prioritize your time. So one thing that I really like to do as far as online schooling goes, I like to use a calendar to write down my assignments and their due dates. And as you guys can see, I'm, I'm kind of blind. So yes, I need this big old thing to work with me. If you don't have a planner, you can go ahead and just use a regular piece of paper uh, and write down your assignments and what days they are due. Set a time to actually focus on your homework and studying, and I mean actually do it. So if you want to decide to, okay, I'm going to wake up and get my homework done, do that. And it doesn't have to be an all-day process. Just spend a couple hours getting your homework done. Um, that's all you really need. Just take the time to actually get it done because... If you wait super last minute, you're going to be cramming this assignment in, this assignment in. You're going to have to cram in studying and all of that. And you're going to get super overwhelmed. You are not going to do well in your class. You're not going to do well in the exams, the finals, none of that. Well, you had all the time in the world to get this done. And what did you decide to do? You decided to play on the video game. You decided to sit up there and scroll on social media instead of handling your business. Self-discipline. Set aside a time and actually do your homework, do your studying in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night, but just make sure you set aside that time. It can also even be just a certain day of the week. I, I'm gonna do my homework on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, or Tuesdays and Thursdays, something. Just set aside that specific time for you to actually do your homework. Just like when you were going to school on campus, you had that specific time to when you would go to class and learn new material, get homework done, whatever the case may be. Do the same thing at home, it is self-discipline. It's very beneficial for you passing the course, okay? You cannot BS with online class because it takes so much more effort than it does actually going to a physical class. One thing I would suggest for people if you are taking multiple online classes, which I'm pretty sure most of us are, instead of trying to tackle them all in one day, I would just focus on one class at a time. So get assignments done for one class, boom, knock those out, check those off your list or highlight them out to your, or your calendar and move on to the next class or do the next class another day. Like I said, when you set, set aside that time, okay, I'm going to focus on this class today, this class later tonight or this class tomorrow, whatever. But 
make sure you are making time for each class so that you can get all the stuff done that you need to get done. Another thing I would highly suggest is that you stay in contact with your professors, especially if you're having a hard time transitioning or if there's like some life uh, extenuating circumstances that you guys are dealing with that is interfering with you getting your assignments done definitely keep in contact with your professors some like to give a cell phone number out or whatever but i highly suggest just emailing them and kind of just keeping them updated on like your status uh if you're having trouble getting assignments done because of whatever you know not having internet or lack of, just lack of resources period just definitely keep in contact with them because more often than not professors are a lot more willing to work with you if you communicate with them if you think you can just go three weeks or more without doing assignments and think okay yeah i'm gonna hit them up now and ask if i can go ahead and uh submit late assignments and you have no real excuse for why you didn't turn them in besides sitting on the couch they're not gonna work with you they're gonna see how irresponsible you are and that's gonna be on you keep in contact with them it's very beneficial trust me i've uh, used this tactic plenty of times and it's saved my butt so many times communication is key for online courses you can also still work with classmates and study with them like via facetime or they have the teams app where you guys can like um work with each other they have google docs if you guys have projects that you need to work on so there's ways to get this stuff done guys stop bsing stop putting stuff off because at the end of the day you are just causing more stress on yourself that you don't need school is already stressful as is and online school is already as stressful as is like when it comes time for finals just make sure that you have all the material that you need to go ahead and study for that exam thankfully when you're doing a final online it's basically like doing um an open note uh test that's a plus but make sure that you have all the materials that you need for that exam or to study for that exam prepared especially if you're taking the exam at that specific time you don't want to be scrambling through stuff oh i need this oh i know that the answer is in this like you need to have everything together everything reachable so that you're not wasting time when it comes to that final and you end up running out of time to where you missing too many questions that you couldn't get answered have everything ready to go to make your life so much easier if you do spend like hours at an end studying or doing homework for classes just make sure that you don't forget to stretch make sure you drink water make sure you eat something all of that is still very beneficial uh take breaks when it comes to doing homework just don't take too long of a break to where you never get back to your assignment uh, I'm very guilty of that. <laughs> I have a son though, so I have somewhat of an excuse, but even then, I'm still trying to get my stuff done too, y'all. COVID-19 may be stressful for all of us, but that is not an excuse for us to allow our GPA to go down with it. We need to make online classes work for the sake of our education. This is our lives and we still have some way of making it work it's not like college is completely canceled we still got work to get done and there's no telling how long things are gonna be like this so if maybe say we do have to continue online classes for summer and fall you need to be able to work through it so i'm giving you guys some tips on how to make this work please listen to them trust me i'm taking my own advice as well i am a mother i'm a wife girl I'm, I'm a youtuber man it's a lot on my plate i'm still making sure that i take the time that i need to get my assignments done because that's what's important to me that is all that i have for you guys good luck on finals i wish you guys all the luck in the world please study 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 get everything done that you need to that's all that i got for you guys if you enjoyed this video give me that thumbs up Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.